Hey everybody, welcome back to the Game Over Club. It is I, Retro Matt, and today I am reviewing uh, Retro Gamer issue number 140. And inside we take a look at the 30 year uh, anniversary look back on the Atari ST. Um, what else do we have? Uh, Lemmings, of course, it's on the cover. Uh, we also get Speedball 2, uh, amongst others, Kung Fu Master, and all sorts of good stuff. So let's take a look! In the ultimate guide to Lemmings, we're taken back to 1991 to DMA Designs Classic with interviews with Mike Daly, Russell Kay, Tim Wright, and others. A chart of best and worst conversions is listed as well as a map key to some of the more difficult later levels, which is a great touch. Elsewhere in the mag is an amazing write-up on the Atari ST and its 30-year legacy, boasting classic games such as Super Sprint, Road Runner, Where Time Stood Still, Championship Wrestling, and Starquake, and built-in MIDI ports for all those aspiring musicians, thanks to all the publishers to the ST and its Thalion, Bitmap Brothers, and Logotron, it is cause for celebration. Further in is a great story on the making of Trash Man on the Spectrum, created by the legendary Malcolm Evans, the man who gave us 3D Monster Maze, and it's the struggles and triumphs to make this gem. This game reminds me of Paperboy, but is more complex under it all. Collecting trash, as well as keeping your eye on the time, planning your route is a must for this awesome game. Towards the end is a write-up on Kung Fu Master. It's all about the girl as you try and save the kidnapped Sylvia from the evil clutches of Mr. X and his hordes of henchmen. The PC Windows, NES, MSX, and even the Atari 2600 boast this monumental beat-em-up. So let's all bow down to our sense. Lastly, in the Minority Report, features the games on the Auric, including The Hobbit, classic text-based adventure Lords of Time, Defense Force, Don't Press the Letter Q, and Legal Dog, the Golden Eagle, make the Auric a must for gaming goodness. So there you have it, issue number 140 is in the books. Um, you know, not a too bad, uh, too bad of a uh, magazine of an issue. Uh, one of the older ones, I believe. But uh, still, it's a good pickup, a good pickup. Uh, I enjoy it, so, you know, I'm sure you guys do too, hopefully. Um, but anyways, as always, uh, comment down below, what do you think about uh, issue number 140? As always, later days and later levels, take care.